the promises of the Leave campaign are not going to be met by Brexit, by any Brexit. Um, they were completely unrealistic. And also, we now know that Leave campaign used lies, illegal methods to get the, the result they got. So I just don't see how any of this can be valid, and it's we that are going to suffer at the, result, at the end of all of this. Uh, um, on the other hand, the leading figure in Ineos, major chemicals company, has written to the head of the European Union, to Monsieur Juncker, to say that the regulations that have come from the European Union have made investing uh, in the EU, from his point of view, um, something that is not worth doing because the regulations are strangling business. In January 2019, Ineos announced that it had chosen Belgium as the location for its new 3 billion euro petrochemical plants, the biggest investment it had ever made. The problem is that the European Union is a failed economic model. The EU is the world's biggest trading bloc. Together with the USA and China, it's one of the three largest global players in international trade. What you do you look, say to that woman there? What I say is that we are freeing ourselves from this failed economic model to have a better one where we are able to engage with the rest of the world. The UK already engaged with the rest of the world when it was a member of the EU. Rather than hiding behind the barriers that the EU feel protects it. There are no barriers to trade between EU member states. EU members decide external tariffs which help to protect jobs in the single market. We are going to be freeing ourselves so that we can be economically more successful. We can lower the prices of goods in this country by cutting tariffs. We can have cheaper food, clothing and footwear, benefiting most of all the least well-off in our society. Brexit has reduced the value of the pound, erected barriers to trade with Europe and caused a shortage of workers. This has increased the cost of essential purchases. This is a terrific benefit. So do I think industry will benefit in the end? Overwhelmingly, it will be good for competitiveness, good for British business. On Channel 4 News, Jacob Rees-Mogg said... We Gosh. won't know the full economic consequences for a very long time. <laughs> Come on. We really won't. He suggested 50 years. The overwhelming opportunity uh, for Brexit um, is over the next 50 years.